God loves you no matter what. God loves you. God loves me. It's amazing how much that he loves us. Just a few words of encouragement. I don't know who you are and what you're dealing with in your life, but I'm just ready to tell you. God loves you. And there's an old song, my buddy. Oh, I love him. Count of Spirituals. Everybody know about the quartet group, the Count of Spirituals, and my boy Harvey. Harvey Watkins. That's a song they did called God Loves You, which is so powerful and encouraging. It's encouraging with just a few words. And Harvey started off saying in this song, no matter how large, no matter how small, no matter how short, no matter how tall. And then it says, no matter how weak, no matter how strong, you just keep holding. And you keep holding on and you remember that. God loves you. In the introduction of this song, he was talking about a woman that was about 75 pounds overweight. And she just was unhappy with herself, didn't know what else to do. She kept trying to lose weight. And Harvey was telling her, either way it go, God loves you. Somebody right now sitting up depressed, no self-esteem, no self-confidence. I'm going to encourage you right now and tell you God loves you and you too can make a change. God has never left us, but we are quick to leave him. No matter how large, no matter how small. Remember, Ecclesiastes told us, the race is not given to the fast nor to the strong, but to those who endure, endure to the end. Somebody right now done jumped out of their race, that done gave up on God. No matter who you are and what you're going through, God loves you. And then Harvey comes right back in the second verse and says, No matter how young, no matter how old, no matter how hot, no matter how cold, no matter how weak, no matter how strong, you just keep holding, holding on. I even like to say it like this, No matter how rich, no matter how poor, God for once is not concerned about how much money you got. He's not concerned about how poor you are. He's not concerned about what you are driving. God loves us. That stuff don't mean nothing to God. God owns everything. We can work all our life and we will never amount up to having the things that God has. We can't buy our way into heaven. Impossible. Now we can be with him and have those things, but we cannot thank God enough. I heard, I heard people walking around all the time talking about, oh, if I had 10,000 tongues, I just couldn't praise him enough. And some of them, they say they don't even praise him with the one tongue that they have. No matter who you are and what you're going through, God loves you. Nobody can love you like God can love you. Nobody can do you like God can do you. No matter who you are, if you're at a state of depression right now, you're looking at this camera, you can come out of it because our God is not a God of depression. Oh, but how much joy and peace and happiness, love that he give us. He is so caring, so compassionate. No matter who you are and what your situation is, God loves you. He might be telling you to surrender from some things. He might be telling you to give up some things that you don't want to give up. I don't know who you are and what your situation is. And no, I'm not a prophet. And I'm not finna prophesize over nobody's life. But I'm here to tell you, God loves you. It's too easy for somebody to say you're going through something because we all going through something. We know that off the top. So whoever you are and whatever it is you're going through, remember that God loves you. God bless you.